Welcome back to another episode. On this episode, we take on a new project that's not really something I know anything about and also not something I really planned on doing ever. I'll show you what it is in a moment. However, I'm not going to film going to get it or loading it up simply because I wasn't the person that negotiated getting it and also I don't personally know the person storing it. So just for the sake of not pushing my luck, I'm not going to film or deal with any of that when I go to get it. It's just going to show up here. Once it's here, we'll do a once over, see what condition it's in, make a list of what needs to be done, maybe try to start it depending if it's in good condition or not. Ta-da! It's a thing. I don't even know. It's, I think it's a 2007 Suzuki Boulevard S50. I'm not certain on the year. I don't even know what engine it is. I think it's like 800cc, like 805 or something. So far it seems okay. I pulled the battery out. I tried to see if it had any power to anything and like some of the lights would come on but very dimly and the battery's putting out 10 volts so more than likely that battery's dead. If I can bring it back to life that'd be cool but we'll see. For now I'm going to roll it outside and just clean it, degrease it and then we can do a full assessment because it's been sitting outdoors. Like it had a cover on it but it's still been exposed to the elements so I'm just going to do a nice deep cleaning, try to get as much of the grunge and dirt and stuff off and then we'll go from there as far as determining what it needs for tune-up and any other parts that it may need. So yeah, we'll just get right into it, I guess. All I've done so far was remove the chrome cover that sits here so that I can get a spark plug socket down in there. I'm going to pull the plugs, clean them up, put a little marble in each cylinder since this thing's been sitting for a year and a half somewhere in there. So just to be precautious, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some oil and just let it sit for like 24 hours or so. Well, this, I guess it's like a water seal to stop the uh, wire from shorting, but it's all melted. Well, I'm going to have to order a new one of those. Supposedly the spark plug's not a weird size, but you can't really get into it unless you like either grind down a socket or use the one in the toolkit. So that's what I'm going to use here. They stink of gas, which is not a great sign. I mean, it's really hard to tell just by looking at it, but they look right. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I mean, it looks okay. I'm still going to wire rush it and then put it back in once I put oil, a little oil in the cylinders. This is that little boot thing. I'm going to pull it aside and see what it's like, but more than likely I'm just going to order a new one of these and then I'll replace the plugs later once we know this thing runs. Okay, that should be good. Just a little bit. So I got the plug cleaned it back up and I'm going to go ahead and throw it back in and then repeat the process on the other side. I made a couple other discoveries while like doing my inspection. I noticed there's a sticker here and there's orange peel on top of it, which tells me someone just like poorly spray painted over it. And I confirmed my suspicion by, I looked up this bike, like a stock image and it said Suzuki here. So that sticker still here and someone just spray painted over it. And I tested this by using brake clean and, and I wiped it here and it, you can see the sticker there. Brake clean's really good at a bunch of stuff besides cleaning brake parts. One of which is it's really good at getting off spray paint. So it'll harm stuff if you're not careful, but it'll also wipe off spray paint and protect like, it won't usually damage stickers or like two coat paint where it's like clear and regular paint. Again, you can always damage it if you're not careful, but I'm gonna try to get this as 
cleaned up as possible just with brake clean and a rag. And then if the paint underneath it's okay, like the actual factory paint, I'll just like buff it and stuff so you won't ever know. The other thing I noticed, you can't really see down there in the muffler. See, there's a bunch of holes. Somebody drilled out the silencer. So instead of removing it, it was like three rivets to remove it. They just drill a bunch of holes in it. And they didn't even do a good job because they're just like randomly spaced apart. So that's just another thing I noticed. It's coming up pretty well, but it does look like the, whoever the previous owner was sanded the sticker instead of just removing it. Although it won't say Suzuki anymore. I mean, it still does, but it's not the same. But I'm going to just remove the sticker entirely, and then I'll probably just compound and buff this to get it back to looking good instead of just having spray paint and a worn out sticker on it. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but you can see they like sanded back and forth in this little section here and just like destroyed the sticker and the paint. And then they just spray painted over it on top of that, which is really questionable. This is the kind of thing a kid would do because they want to mo modify their thing and they don't know better, but I'm pretty sure I know who the previous owner was and they're not a child. Well, that's going to take a lot more work to make it look good again, but whatever, we can come to that later. I just wanted to show you guys. And it's got like no fluid in it. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. The only oil I have on hand right now is the expensive AMS oil stuff. But I'll, I have half a quart open already, so I'll put that in and we'll see where we're at. You can't see it, but there's a little window down here. And that's how I know how much is in it. But it looks like it's about right in the center between the two, the low and full marks. So this thing was only maybe half a quart low. I'm going to go ahead and do a full service once this, I know this thing runs. The idea here is just get it running, do a proper full inspection and then order all the supplies. So order plugs, filter, oil, air filters. I don't even know, diff fluid? Does it have a diff? I don't know, there's a plug back there, so I assume it has some sort of diff oil in it. We're right about ready to start aside from the battery charging. I'll just let that charge overnight. All right, so we got the bike out here. Sorry for the background noise. The battery for the bike is dead. I've charged it and checked it and all of the voltage is fine. The power it's putting out is not. So right now I just have a car battery and jumper cables hooked up to the original battery terminals and that seems to be fine so far. I think it's powered up so yeah we'll just set the camera down put on the tripod and see what happens and that I'll wait for that airplane to go over so that background noise isn't in it because that's really annoying. Okay so somehow my camera decided to not save the footage but I already tried to start it and it leaked fuel everywhere from like there. So the tank's gonna have to come off so I can see what's going on. Once the fuel's finished evaporating, I'll go ahead and test start it again. See, that's what I'm talking about. I can't see exactly, but it, I feel like there's a fuel pump up there or it's just dumping out of the front carb. Maybe it's out of the front bowl, I don't know. It's gonna take a little while to figure that out, but the fuel tank will have to come off and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. I'm gonna let this evaporate again and then we'll try again. Okay, so this will be the last try for starting it because at this point it's a fire hazard. enough of that. Okay, so I'll do a quick once over just to explain what's in store for the next episode. Back here on this back fender, I sanded this back with 1500 grit and then 2000 grit with, you know, wet and it burnt through the paint. So this is pretty much shot and there's no real saving that. I'm probably gonna have to have this painted and also the gas tank has a lot of chips in it. As if someone had laid this down in gravel because it's only this one side and they're all over and they're large. So I really think someone just like let this thing fall onto gravel or something. Being that this bike is black and every single version I've ever seen is black, I'm probably gonna have it painted and it probably won't be black. I haven't decided yet, but the tank, the rear fender and the front radiator shroud is kind of shot. Yeah, the front radiator shroud's also not great. It's got rust up here and then down in the center here where the gravel from the tire gets kicked up there's no more paint and it's also rusted i haven't decided on my color yet but it probably won't be black again unless there's really no 
financially reasonable option because, I mean, every one of these bikes I've seen is black. Other than that, I need to order the spark plug boot things that are destroyed. I think I need to order bowl gaskets for the carbs because I think that's where it's leaking up front here. And then I need to order a new one of these bolts right there because I broke it. Other than that, I just need the bike just needs a tune-up. So yeah, with all that in consideration, I think I've found everything that's a problem on the bike. The next episode is basically just going to be boring stuff like tune-up, fixing the fuel leak, maybe doing the paint, depending on who I can find to paint it and how much it ends up being and how long it's going to take. Maybe you ride around the neighbor neighborhood a little bit. Just by pushing the bike around, I think it's too heavy for me. Like, I'm not a heavy person and it's a heavy bike. I think so, at least. So I think it's a pretty dumb idea for me to try to take it on, on actual streets. But I still need to ride the thing to make sure it actually works and make sure all the gears work and make sure it doesn't overheat and make sure like everything else is good. The next episode should be pretty jam-packed, but uh, we won't know until I film it and put it up. So with all that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned.